Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, ladies, earlier in the show, we talked with Mike Neighbors about the retirement of future Hall of Famer Drew Brees. You know, he's an NFL living legend who recently left the game and moved into broadcasting. That's right. And now we're moving on to talk about a promising young player at the very beginning of a football career. Here to talk to us uh, about a show he's produced featuring an up and coming quarterback with the last name of Manning, which historically uh, those Mannings have been pretty good at football. <laughs> Welcome in Paul Atkinson. Paul, thanks so much for joining us on Main Street Living. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So, Paul, your three-part series, it's called Glory Days, A Season with the Greenies. It's running now on Cox Sports TV. Tell us, what is the show all about? All right. Basically, we sent two cameras to every single game this past season, the COVID season, and we filmed Isidore Newman. Now, you may be familiar with Isidore Newman uh, because they have Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Odell Beckham as graduates, but they have a new one. Arch Manning, who is the nephew of Eli and Peyton, and he's really tearing up the high school football season right now. But, you know, the COVID season was very interesting because you literally did not know week to week if this was going to be the last game they played. Uh, simply because with testing, you, you had to find out if anyone had, had tested positive. Uh, and th then you couldn't control things like did the team – were the team that they were going to play, did they have COVID positive tests? So it, it was an interesting season for head coach Nelson Stewart to guide the Greenies through what was a state semifinal season this year with Glory Days. Mm, wow, that sounds so cool. And Arch Manning, I mean, probably big expectations here. Let's talk more about him a little bit and how else he plays into this story. Okay, Arch is – in all respects, the real deal. I've followed several players over the course of my broadcasting career, some who actually were the National High School Player of the Year, and Arch is just as good as any of those players. And actually, you know, people ask me, well, who would you compare Arch's game to? Is it Peyton or Eli? And I really say his grandfather, Archie, uh, the patriarch of the family, it, his game really resembles – his grandfather's, and also an NFL superstar right now, Patrick Mahomes. He has the ability to make plays happen outside the pocket, which is kind of what today's NFL game and college game is all about. You want quarterbacks who can make plays when the play breaks down. So mm -hmm. we have incredible highlights of Arch's uh, sophomore season. And, of course, he he followed up a great sophomore year from his national, national uh, freshman of the year campaign – in 2019. So the sky's the limit for Arch and the Greenies as we're moving forward into his key junior year. Wow. I mean, comparing him to Patrick Mahomes, yeah. big, big compliment here, getting me very excited, obviously, because such a great quarterback. But you also mentioned Eli Manning and Peyton Manning, some other great quarterbacks here. Do we see any other famous Manning show up in glory days? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. Uh, in in the later end of the uh, series, we actually look back at where Peyton's Hall of Fame career began, which is on the Michael Lupin Field in uh, uptown New Orleans at Isidore Newman. So in 1991, Peyton was a sophomore quarterback, and he threw to his senior wideout brother, Cooper, who was Arch's dad, and they had – what is called the Manning to Manning season. And, you know, Peyton always looks back and it says, it's the greatest season I've ever had. And of course, this is a five time NFL MVP, two time Super Bowl champ, but the greatest time he ever had was playing with his older brother, Cooper. And as it turned out, Cooper had a uh, injury stenosis in his neck. And that, that was the end of his playing career right after high school. And so, you know, Peyton has lived on that legacy, and now he will be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and, and very shortly. So we, we go look back at that 1991 season uh, at the end of glory days, and then, of course, Arch gets to comment on his uncle going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So lots of fun in glory days. 
Oh, it sounds like it. And I love it when you have the family legacy there. And, you know, now you're seeing the younger generations of it. And you've spent so much time with these teenagers that you mentioned, and I'm sure you've gotten to know them pretty well. How else are you impressed by them with everything they've had to deal with? Well, the, that's that's a very good question, too, because if, try to think of yourself now back as a 15 to 18 year old and coaches telling you you can't do parties because we might be in situations where we could get COVID or, or, or spread COVID. So you have to have 15 to 18 year olds in New Orleans, which is a mm. great town to be <laughs> social. Yeah. And yeah. literally you have to control those impulses as a 15 to 18 year old while you're on the team trying to get through their season. But uh, it, w it was a great accomplishment. They had eight, eight regular season games scheduled because of a COVID shortened season. And every single one of them played the exact day it was supposed to at the exact mm -hmm. time, which many wow. high schools in Louisiana were not even able to do. Wow. So just to thread that needle of getting through each COVID week. And of course, unfortunately we've got Delta now. And so mm -hmm. we're going to have to see how that plays out in Arches junior year with the Greenies. So it's going to be interesting it's going forward just to keep following this team and this young man. It's so true. And, and these kids miss so much. I mean, they miss their high school graduations, a lot of them, and their proms, and they went through oh. just so much. And so asking them also to not see their friends, and especially in maybe a senior year. So really just went through it. And we're able to get through a football season. I'm excited about the show. Where can we watch it? It is on Cox Sports TV through the remainder of August. So I really tell people to go to CoxSportsTV.com and check out their TV schedule. And it's also in your program guides. Um, for people not really familiar with Cox Sports TV, they're in eight states and six million homes. So they're pretty much all through the middle of the, uh, the country as far as all right. Oh my gosh, that sounds great. We're so excited about this. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you Paul. for having me on. It's great. Absolutely. All right. Well, Danielle, we've got so much more coming up on Main Street Living. In fact, if you like being out on the water, don't miss our next segment. We have one that's sure to float your boat.